I don't even know what my total was. Y'all, we got a good little talk today. Yep. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Hold on. Let me let me set you up real quick. This video wasn't planned like I didn't plan to do this video I didn't plan to well I didn't plan to do this video today is my camera crooked I think my car is crooked because I'm like on a hill Hey friends, it's Ivelisse J, I V E L I S S E, and I'm back with another freaking video. Now, before we do anything, before we go any further, before you start actually watching the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And while you at it, you can just go watch my other videos. So, as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a mukbang, mukbang, muk, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so hungry. So, I ended up getting a chicken sandwich. This the new chicken sandwich with um some fries. I got a water, and I also got. Uh, iced coffee i do not like this at all like every time i drink it it's a different taste like like that is so weird legit every time i take a sip it tastes different like i'm pretty sure y'all can see what we're going to talk about today because it's in the title i'm pretty sure and in the thumbnail do y'all eat like one specific thing first like i always eat my fries first and then eat like my chicken or like my burger or whatever i don't know why I do that with rice too like i always eat my rice first and then eat my meat last but so as y'all can see from the title of this video we're just going to be doing a mukbang about toxic people let me get my mind right it's because i drank the coffee a little bit so i'm like all over the place and also because it's like five o'clock so when i went to mcdonald's it was like kind of packed the streets is like kind of busy so my mind is still like so basically i had therapy today and in therapy I asked my therapist or like brought it up to my therapist. I was like, do you feel like you can have like a healthy relationship with somebody that you were once toxic with? Like what makes a person toxic? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like everybody has a different definition of the word toxic. Like for example, everybody has a different definition of what cheating is or everybody has a different definition of what like the talking stage is. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like something like toxic is like a controversial like topic like okay so i'm gonna talk about it and then in the end i'm gonna go back to my question like you know can you have a healthy relationship with a toxic person so to me personally a toxic relationship or a toxic person is somebody who brings the worst out of you or a relationship that brings the worst out of you whether it's a friendship whether it's like a like intimate relationship whatever it is i feel like it's just somebody who brings the worst out of you like you know like somebody who always gets you to that point or somebody who you know you come out of character a lot with like that's not even who you are but they get you to that point where that's who you have to be with them i feel like a toxic relationship is like it's different like it's different everybody has their different definitions of toxic to me a toxic relationship is like when you guys are putting hands on each other or when you guys are like crossing too many lines like every relationship has their ups and downs like you know of course i don't know if it's normal but every relationship it's realistic every relationship goes through their things like every relationship crosses lines but i feel like a toxic relationship you're constantly crossing that line with that person if you're in like a relationship and you're passionate and you're you know what i'm saying that line is going to get crossed once or twice but to keep crossing that line like over and over and over again i feel like that's a toxic relationship like she didn't give me another straw why would she give me two drinks and one straw So yeah, that's what I feel like the definition of like a toxic relationship is. That's not what I asked for. I mean, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, it's a heart. I'ma still eat it, but not what I asked for. Y'all, this sauce is spicy as hell. Y'all, I'ma just stop to talk about this sandwich real quick. Y'all, this bread is so soft. Like, I'm talking about so soft. Like, it's so good the sauce itself is like actually spicy like very spicy like od it's not what i asked for though i asked for the deluxe it came with like lettuce and mayonnaise and not the spicy sauce what was i even saying oh that was my definition of toxic um i had asked that question on instagram i think it was like a couple months ago i was like you know what's your definition of toxic and everybody had something different to say i've seen a lot of people say selfish i've seen a lot of people say like manipulative i've seen a lot of people say like a bunch of different stuff like i said everybody got a different definition and stuff like that i feel like a lot of people have a hard time being honest with themselves and 
I'm not that type of person. Like, I'm very open. I'm very transparent. And honestly, I'm toxic at times. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could be toxic. I'm not, well, let me, let me change that. I'm not a toxic person, but I have toxic tendencies. Like, I don't enjoy it, but sometimes I bring the worst out of people. I feel like everybody has a little bit of toxic in them. Like, I feel like a lot of times people be trying to act like they're like, this perfect person you're not you're not like you're not because me even with going to therapy even with doing everything that i'm doing to work on myself i'm still not a perfect person you know what i'm saying i still make mistakes i still have my days when i do things that i know i'm not supposed to do it is what it is like now let me go back to my question i honestly think it's possible to have a healthy relationship with somebody you once was toxic with if you guys grew up because at the end of the day y'all not them same people you know what i'm saying like y'all not them people y'all was months ago y'all not them people y'all was a couple years ago y'all different people like i feel like people grow every day people learn every day people like have new experiences every day and i feel like you know experiences change people like i said people grow you know what i'm saying people change and not that they're not toxic anymore but i feel like there's ways to learn how to have a healthy relationship with somebody who's toxic if that makes sense hold on y'all i need to move because this is bothering me like od okay y'all feel like i look so much better than i did over there but so yeah getting back to my question i feel like it's possible to have a healthy relationship with somebody you weren't healthy with at one point i feel like as long as you set boundaries for yourself realize what's healthy what's not healthy realize what's acceptable what's not acceptable and stuff like that i don't know is that just me i don't know y'all but honestly don't even lie to yourself there's somebody who was in your life who was toxic that you wouldn't mind having back in your life again in a healthy way you know what i'm saying like having a healthy relationship a better relationship like a new start with them and like i said i just feel like it's possible you just have to give it time i feel like you have to grow the other person has to grow and you have to realize that you know like maybe you do want each other back in your lives whether it's a friend whether it's a relationship whatever it is but like i said y'all just have to work on it like this guy has been taking like 15 minutes to like get himself set up to ride a bike why does it even take you that long to like put on your little helmet put on your little what you got his little booty shorts his little book bag like why did it take you that long besides the point that was just like a random talk that i wanted to have because like i said i was talking to my therapist about this y'all know what's crazy i don't finish all my food i don't finish this whole mukbang i don't finish my whole conversation and i ain't even introduced the video like i ain't say my intro so yeah y'all that's my take on stuff um i know ain't nobody asked me at all ain't nobody said jazz marie go on youtube and talk about this but y'all can relate though but i'm pretty sure Y'all watched this video and had somebody in mind. I know this video probably looked a mess, like with me changing and the sun and stuff like that. And the food, cause the food, that won't even my order. Actually y'all, I would consider this a fail. Cause one, that won't even my order. Two, the coffee was disgusting. The fries was kind of cold. The only thing good about this was the conversation. That's all. Y'all, I actually like doing mukbangs. I think I'm gonna start doing them more often because I feel like it just be random. You know what I'm saying? It just be like a random talk. Like we just talking, we just enjoying our time, eating our food. But thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoy. And if you wanna see more videos like this or whatever I have coming up on my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification so you know every time I post.